Hello everyone, this video will show you how to use the player tracking system of my bot. First of all, we see all the commands we can use for glitch tracker or player tracker. And we start with this, the first one, GUM, glitch ender map. So we need to set a channel for tracking ender map glitch of your server. Then first, ender map, okay. And then we use help. Then we need to get our server ID. Check. So use the command glitch under map paste. So now all players glitch under map will show in here automatically. So let's see what it look like. Looks like here the Livonia map. So this function working well in Livonia map when player glitch underground and swimming in the sea. So you will see this guy definitely glitch underground. So you can ban them or whatever, do what you want. But in the channel map, there is an issue. So you need look yourself where they are because players can swim in the sea uh, like this one. They swim in the sea. The next one is off. Off is simple, just off, stop the function. The next one is RL, means relogger. So we also need a channel. And then we use check. And we use the command help. No. And paste the server ID. Then it's working. So the relogger means relog did relog five times in 20 minutes in this way you can find who did a lot relogs uh, to abuse to see through the wall or they duped something so like this but if you see someone with a tooth behind their game uh, their names means he's lab but like this one, this one definitely keep reloading so you can decide to ban him or ask him whatever you want. So the next one is player location, PL. So we also need a new channel. And we need our server ID. Paste this one. So now all the player location will automatically post here. And it looks like this one. So you can just click the coronet and you will know where they are. Yeah, they are here. So the location refresh every five minutes because the log files register the location of players every five minutes. So we jump to the most important part of player tracker. It's about the bounty system. So you can set a bounty on certain players. But first, this bounty will post in a certain um, Discord channel. So first, we need to set a Discord channel for post information or a bounty. Just a bounty. Use help. And use check. The first one, set a channel for tracking bounties or posting server info. 
So we use this info, paste this one. So it's done. So every bounty will post in this Pacific Discord channel. So let's see how to set a bounty. So the bounty has a PSN1, PSN2, or whatever, uh, Xbox Live. But that's mean, that's mean PSN2 wanted by PSN1, whatever you call the PSN1, I just call it SS9, and the PSN2, uh, I want him, so it's SS10. And the last part is T, T means time from one to 24, means one hour to 24 hours. So you can't choose you know, 1.5 hours, you need to choose a hour. So let's just set one, just one hour. I want track him one hour. And the reward, reward, you can leave a reward for a bounty, just like 100 euro. Euro, you no, know, can type it. No, or we use this. Or you gave him an M four, or you just leave a message. You sucks, like this, and then we start the. Uh, yeah, so in this way, this player SS, uh, SS10, if he's in the server, if he in this server, so the bounty will keep him tracking, keep tracking him. So it work like, like this one. So you see this guy has bounty on his head and this guy killed him. So the bounty finished. The bounty has two ways to finish. One is time up. You, you can see the countdown time here, here. And all got killed by another player means bounty hunter. They can't just log out and wait the time passed because the time, see only online time, not the general time, online time. He needs to stay in the server for 24 hours and the bounty will gone. You can see here, he's online now. He's online now. He, he's offline now. So he can't just log out. So the bounty will tell you when he online, when he offline, when he killed by zombie, and when he killed by player, or the time up, and the story. So we go to the next part. And off. So you can just use this, this one to cancel a bounty on certain player. And how the info uh, info channel working. It's working like connect with another server. You can't use uh, one channel to post two different two bounties in two different servers. So always one server link to one Discord channel. So that's all.